hi guys welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials today in this video you will see how to make a flip card using html and css as you can see on my computer screen here is one demo you can see three different product on the front side you can see a full product image and as i will take cursor over this image it will rotate 180 degree and you will see a small image and product name product description price and a star rating and some buttons so this is very easy to create this type of flip effect using html and css before starting this video i will request you to please subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's start making this flip card using html and css so here you can see this is my project folder i have two images and one html and one css file now we'll open my text editor so this is my html file I have written basic HTML structures and this is the CSS file. In the HTML file you can see I have already connected this HTML file with CSS with this line of code. So after that we will come to the body area and here we will create one div and I am taking one class name that is title. So in this box I am creating one title so I am using h1 and the title is flip card. Let's add one description in p tag. So here I am writing subscribe easy tutorials YouTube channel. Just save this changes and open this web page with Google Chrome. Now you can see this small title and small description on this web page. Let's copy this class name title and add it into the CSS file. Write text align center and I am adding margin 40 pixel, auto and 30 pixel. Now you can see these text in the center. Let's come back to the HTML file and after these text we will create one div and I am taking the class name flip card. So in this div I am creating one more div. So this name this class name will be flipkart inner. Again create one more div and write the class name. Take anything. Uh, let me choose flipkart front. So this will be the front area of this card. Let's duplicate this one and this one I will change it to flipkart back. So this will be the back div. Now coming to the front div and here we'll add one image for that I'll use img source and the image file name. Just save these changes and after refreshing this page you can see this image over here in the left side. Let's copy this class name flip card add it here into CSS file. For this one we'll write width 300 pixel and height I'll set 450 pixel. Let's add margin auto. After reloading this page, you can see this image in the center and height and width is fixed. Again, come back to the HTML file and let's come to the flip card back. In the back div, we'll add one div and the class name I'm using back header. Here also we'll add one image, one small image. And after that, we'll create one more div. This one we back footer. So in this back footer, we'll add the product name. So I'm using H2 and the product name I'm writing any phone name. And let's add a small description in P tag. So after refreshing this page, you can see one more image and title and a small description for this image. Let's copy this class name flipkart back, add it into the CSS file and for this one we'll add some background color. And color also, this one will be text color. Let's copy it again and then write this one back header 
for this one we'll fix the height 45 percent and text align center let's copy it again and after that write img for this image this one is the small image so i'll set the width 50 percent and margin top 20 pixel after reloading this page you can see a small image and background color let's come back to the html file and copy this one flip card inner add it here now we'll write position relative and height 100 percent transition transform 0.6 second transform style preserve 3d so we made it as relative now just copy this one flip card back and we'll add flip card front also so for this div we'll add position absolute and width will be 100% height also 100% Now come back to this one, flip card back and in this class name I am adding transform rotate y 180 degree. So this back card will rotate y 180 degree. So after refreshing this page you can see only one image that is a front image and you can't see the back one because it is rotated y 180 degree and the front image is overlapping over the back content now we have to rotate the entire card for that again copy the flip card and add it into the css file and for this one we'll add hover so when we will hover this flip card then we'll add here flip card inner so whenever we'll hover the flip card box then flip card inner will rotate y 180 degree for that we'll write transform rotate y 180 degree then the entire card will rotate now you can see it is rotating y 180 degree and you can see the back content let's come back here and here we'll add one more thing back face visibility hidden now it is correct now we have to add some other content in the back footer now come back again and write flip card back then copy this class name back footer so for this footer we'll set the height it will be 55 percent and we'll add some padding so after refreshing this page you can see some space uh, around these text next we will add some icon so come to the google and search for font or some cdn open the first website and from this website just copy this url and come to the html file in the head just duplicate this line and in href paste this url that's it next again come to the google and search for font awesome icons open the first website and here we can search any icon that we want to use on our website so i am searching inr so this is the icon just click this one and copy this one line of code and add it into the html file where you want to add this icon so first we'll write p and in this p i am adding this icon we can remove this one it is not required just save these changes and after refreshing this page you can see this icon over here in the back side next to this icon we'll add some price 
So after refreshing this page, you can see this icon and price also. Next, we'll add some more icon for star rating. So just create one div. And in this div, we'll paste this code. Icon name. So here we'll write star. If you don't know the icon name, you can go and search on the website. So simply duplicate it to create the multiple icons. And in the last one, I'll change it to a star half O. So after refreshing this page, you can see here a star rating just after this price. After adding this star rating, we'll add some buttons. For that, I'm using a tag and the link text is wishlist. Simply duplicate it and change the text. This one is add to cart. So after refreshing this page, you can see these two links over here just below this icon. Next, just copy this class name backfooter and write it into the css file and after that write a and for these a we'll write uh, text decoration none width will be 120 pixel display inline block text align center let's add some padding also border it will be one pixel solid and white color and this color white let's add some margin from top and we'll add transition 0.5 second so after refreshing this page you can see these two buttons next we have to add some hover effect on these buttons for that just copy this one add it here and then write hover so we'll change the background color it will be black and the border also so after refreshing this page you can see when i will take cursor over this button it is changing the background color so like that you can easily create this type of a flip effect using html and css if you have any doubt about this video you can ask me in the comment section if this video was helpful for you, please like and share this video to your friends on your social media. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end.